America drops a lot of bombs. This story really brings home that terrible reality. Because according to Air Force Chief of Staff General Mark Welsh, we are dropping so many bombs that we are now running out. The Pentagon stockpile of them is almost gone. Welsh was referring to air-to-ground bombs when he said back in December to USA Today, we're expending munitions faster than we can replenish them. That's the reality of how many bombs we're dropping. Experts say that we've always had a pretty steady inventory of bombs ready to go for full-on war scenarios, but that has changed after the two and a half years of bombing the hell out of Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and all around the Middle East in general. Through Operation Inherent Resolve against ISIS, the U.S. has dropped laser and GPS-guided bombs, joint direct attack munitions bombs, joint standoff weapons, and air-to-ground missiles. And each one of those ranges from about $25,000 to $400,000. We even dropped Tomahawk cruise missiles, which can cost about $1 million each. We have dropped so many bombs that are so expensive, not to mention the devastation they each cause. All told, in 2015, in just Iraq and Syria, the U.S. dropped more than 20,000 bombs and missiles. 20,000 bombs in just two countries in one year. At this point, we have far exceeded any weapons use projections Congress and the Pentagon had made, and that has left our stockpile of bombs very low. Since December, when Welsh publicly admitted the problem, Secretary of Defense Ash Carter has asked Congress to give him more funding to build 45,000 new smart bombs to replenish the supply. I'm sure Congress will have no problem giving him the money that he wants, because we can't not have any bombs, right? So now we are busy rebuilding our stockpiles. Lockheed Martin is making more Hellfire missiles. Boeing is ramping up production. And other big corporations are busy making bombs, too, right here in the US, to drop all over the world on other people. So don't worry, America. We'll be able to keep dropping bombs by the tens of thousands. Hey, who says we don't make anything in America anymore, right? Tonight, let's talk about that.